Donnie. What's your eyes? Ben nearly died because of you. A man goes up in flames and you stand there like a nutcase. Not a nutcase. What? I'm not a nutcase. It just covered, it covered him up. He wasn't evil, but it covered him up. What are you talking about? I covered Ben! No, the, the cover of flame. The cover of the flame. You know you're crazy. I always said you were crazy. You stay away from me. You think I was afraid? You think I'm crazy? What are you talking about? I would have helped him. What are you talking about? You're a sicko. I, I gotta get home. Oh, well, so do I, but let's go have a beer anyway. Come on. I can't. My mother's sick. Okay, but wait a minute. Now, listen. I don't want you to go home thinking that was your fault, man, because, I mean, things can happen, and a guy can freeze in a situation like that, you know? Hey, that's right. Yeah. That's right. He's the one that's sick. He's a nutcase, not me. Hey, you're probably right about that. You know, that's the way those people are. They call you names, and... They're the crazy He's ones. He's a lightweight. Don't worry about it. But that's the way it happened. You're right, Bobby. Hey, I, I froze. I, I, could, I couldn't hey, do it. you know, speaking of freezing, I'm going to go find a nice warm bar stool. Why don't you come along, huh? Nah, I can't. OK, all right. I'll see you tomorrow, man, OK? OK, see you tomorrow.
Mother, I'm home. I'll have your tea ready in a minute. I made you chamomile tea, since you've been having so much trouble sleeping lately. There. It's nice and hot. Oh. You're already asleep. Don't you want your tea? I made your tea. Mother? Mother? Are you all right? Mother? Music loud?
Donald, come here. No, Mother. You're a bad boy. You're evil and you must be punished. No, Mother, please don't. I promise I'll be good. Come here, I said. No, Mother, please, no. Your father let you do things like that, but he's gone now. Donnie, how you doing, man? It's Bobby. Okay. You all right? Why shouldn't I be all right? Well, you know, I thought you might still be a little upset about Ben. Ben? Yeah. Ben at work, you know, the fire and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I I'm all right. Good. Hey, listen, man, I thought you might want to meet me for a cup of coffee before work. Why? What do you mean, why? God, man, I thought you might want to talk or something. Oh. That's nice of you, but uh, I'm not going in today. I have uh, a couple of things I have to take care of. Will you tell them I won't be in? Yeah, sure, I'll tell them. Um, OK, well, look, uh, I'll see you tomorrow then, huh? Goodbye. Thank you. 
We're closed. Could I just get something simple? Something that's already arranged? Something that wouldn't be too much trouble? I'm sorry, we're closed. I need a present for my mother. She's sick. Just something nice. It doesn't have to be too much trouble. Your mother? Yeah, she's sick, you know? Uh, she loves flowers. Just something simple, please. Okay, something simple. I think I've got just what you want. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm sure Mother will love that. Well, I guess that'll do it. Um, that's 450, please. Thank you. I hope your mother feels better. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Mother will feel fine. Just fine. Good night. Good night. She's troubles. Yeah, you're right, man. I ought to know. I could give you a lift to the next bus station. Hey, baby, I'll give That's you a ride. the way I go. <laughs> well, I'm going to River Road. I go right past there. I could give you a lift. <laughs> uh, okay. No, don't no. Come on, no. Don't leave us no, now. Yeah, come on. Woo. Uh, we oh, blew it. We blew it. Oh, no. oh, you broke my heart. Oh, what was. I appreciate your help. My pleasure. I ought to thank you for, for letting me get these flowers. If it wasn't for me, uh, you would have made your bus. You know, you should get these in water as soon as you get home. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll do that. Are you in a big rush? Well, yeah, I want to get home. Well, would you mind if I dropped these off at my house first? It'll only take a minute. It's not far from River Road. All right. M my mother's already fixing dinner, and I'm, I'm really late. So, so I'll just drop them off, and I'll tell her I'll be right back. No, no, it's all right. I'll only be a minute. Hey, I, I forgot the package. Could you hand me that? Thanks. Hey, why don't you come on in and say hello to Mother? No, no. Oh, oh she'll get a kick out of it, and then we could go. No, really, oh, oh, I've come got on. to get home. She never sees anybody. Really, I just... Oh, come just on. Wanna... Please. 
careful now. Make yourself at home. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, I don't even know your name. Kathy. Kathy Jordan. I'm Donnie Cola. Donald, you know? It's nice to meet you. Well, let me go get Mother. Mother must be upstairs. Mother! Mother! Mother's even sicker than I thought. I have to call a doctor and get him right over here. You understand, I can't leave her in this condition. As soon as you've finished, I'd like to call a cab. Dr. Wells, this is Donald Kohler. It's Mother again. She's worse than before. She can't get out of bed. Could you come right over? Yes. Oh, would you? Would you? Thank you very much. The doctor will be right over. If, if you wait a couple of minutes, I can give you a ride home. Look, I know you have your hands full here. I'd just like to call a cab, OK? But if you wait a few minutes, the doctor Look, will just... Look, May, please use the phone. Are you asking for my permission? Yes. May I please use the phone? Yes, you may.
been out a week now, but that's it. Ben will be in our hospital for a week. Can't get it started? It just stalled out on me. It won't do anything. Could I give you a lift to the next gas station? Oh, I'd really appreciate that. You won't mind if I drop these things off at my house first. Uh, it's on the way. No, that's okay. That be all? Uh, and two packs of 120. Mm There you go. Can I help you with that package? No, thanks. Uh, can I give you a ride home? Uh. My truck is right outside. Why don't you let me give you a ride home? Uh, will you please just right get outside. out of my it's way? Me, I could just... uh, is there a problem here? No, there's no problem. No problem. I, I must have scared her, huh? I I'm gonna go apologize. Hey, miss! Miss! Mother, this is Linda. I wanted you to meet her before I introduce her to the others. Hello? Hey, Donnie. Bobby. Oh, hi, Bobby. Hi, hey, listen, man. I got a message from Vito for you. Now, he says that if you don't show up to work on Monday, you're out of a job. <laughs> Hey, listen, man, all I'm trying to do is help you out, you know, and all you're giving me is nothing, so have a nice life, huh? Wait a minute. Listen to me, Bobby. Hey, I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm, I'm scared. What kind of trouble?
of trouble. What's the matter? It's my mother. She's sick. You know, and... Well, I'm real worried, Bobby. So you want me to come over? We could talk about it. No, no, you can't come over right now. Father Garrity's gonna come over. Because my mother's sick and, and she hasn't been able to get to church. Now, wait a minute. Garrity, now what's that old witch doctor gonna do for her? Well, he, he knows what's, what to do. He knows. Okay, okay. But now listen, give me a call if you need anything, okay? And hey, Donnie, I really hope that you get to work on Monday, man. Listen, Bobby. Thanks for calling me. I think you're the only friend I have out there. It's all right. I'll see you, man. Trash! 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 Just like your father. No! Oh, yes. He got away, but you won't. You'll pay. You'll suffer. No. You'll have to suffer now. She's evil. She can't hurt you now. We'll help you punish her. We'll help you. That's right. I have my friends with me. If she doesn't stop it, I'll punish her again. You hear that, old lady? I'll punish you again! Did you hear me? Did you hear what I said? Don't you ever talk to me like that! That's better. Don't make me do anything bad, Mother. <laughs> You laughing at me? You think I'm crazy for talking to my mother like that? You don't know what she did. You aren't here. Nobody was here. I spent my whole life in this house. With her. I was five when my father left me. She hated him. So she hated me. He was too big to push around. He was a big man. Much bigger than me. But he took a lot of abuse from her. See this? He needed it, you know? He used to hide it. I have it now. I still hide it. Out of respect for him. She used to say I was the reason things weren't working out. When my father was here, he used to protect me. But when he left, I had no one. She made every day of my life a nightmare. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night. She'd be standing over me, screaming. Screaming like a mad woman. You understand? Hey. 
You're not listening to me. You're not paying attention to a word I'm saying. You're all witches. Selfish and vain. Except you. The new one. The different. Try to be nice. Try to listen to me. <laughs> Don't you dare laugh at me! I won't stand for impudence from any of you. That's the trouble. I've taken too much crap in my life. That's all changed now. No more of that for Donnie Kohler. Vito, that bum down at work, he tried to push me around, but I stood up to him. I beat the hell out of him. <laughs> Should have seen him. Whimpering when I was finished with him. And all the guys came up to me and congratulated me. And thanked me for putting him in his place. None of them could do it, but I did. You won't try to do it to me again. I'll push his face in. Ah, uh, what am I talking to you for? If any of you take even a sip, I'll know it. Understand? I'll know it. And besides, I like to see girls drink. smart with me. If you promise to be good, I'll leave the lights on. And remember, no more laughing.
What are you doing there? Donnie. Donnie Kohler. 
I thought you told me you'd never come back here. Oh, you came to get holy water. You don't have to steal it. Doesn't it put out the flame? Flame? You have a problem? Yes. Let me help you with this. Do you believe in the devil? What kind of a question is that to ask a priest? Do you? I believe in evil, yes. As for the pitchfork-carrying kind with a tail, I believe that was an interpretation, a vision of another era. They may have needed that in another time. So you don't believe it exists? No, it doesn't exist, unless you want it to. What about the punishment of evil? If a person is born evil, shouldn't they be punished? I was told by my blessed mother that we are born evil. That the evil must be burned away with the flame. Was my mother lying? Are you calling my mother a liar? Donna, your mother wasn't lying. I know your mother a long time. She was always very interested, very concerned with our religion. When she told you about sin being burned out, she was referring to a symbol. To a symbol of God's power. You have all the answers. All the things you read in books. All the things you tell people. Look at these symbols. I was burned just like in hell. What is this? What happened to your arms? It was the punishment for my sins. Who did this to you? Tell me. My mother. My mother. Help me. You mean your mother did this to you? But why? Because I was evil. I was born from an evil deed. She was burning it out of me to save me. If I was bad, she burned me. If I had evil thoughts, she would burn me. Do you understand me? I understand you're angry now. But your mother's an old woman. When your father left, she was deeply hurt. She hated him. And she hated me. No, Donnie, no. Yes. You must forgive those who have trespassed. You must forgive your mother. Donnie. I want to help you. Do you believe me? Yes. Do you want my help? Yes. Then do as I tell you. Put these thoughts of evil out of your mind now. Resist them and you'll find peace. Don't you want that? Yes. Yes, I do. But there are other things. Other people. Come back to me. Come to my office. Come to confession if you like. You haven't been in a while, have you? Only come back and see me. Mother, please forgive me. I told the priest because he, he wanted to help me. I didn't do anything wrong. 
I can change. I want to forget our past. I want to forgive you. Please, help me forgive her. I just talked to Mother and explained my feelings to her. There are going to be some changes here. I... I'm going to forget my past. I talked to the priest. And he says I can change if I want to. You hear me? That's better. I don't want to have to hurt you any longer. I can change. I can do it. Tommy, Tommy, you must burn more, more. No. You must burn the evil, Tommy. Purify them with a flame. You must destroy evil. Get them, get them, Tommy. Here they are. See for yourselves. No, I won't. I've burned the evil. They're here in this room. You should listen to us, Donnie. You should. You'll be sorry, Donnie. You'll be sorry. Donnie. 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 Hello? Is Bobby there? Bob, it's for you. You know? Yeah, I'm just... Hey, Donnie! This is a surprise. What are you up to, man? Nothing. I'm not up to nothing. I just thought you might want to go to a movie or something. Now, oh, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You sure you don't want to stay home tonight? Come on. Hey, listen. 
If you're really serious about doing something tonight, I got something we can do, man, and it ain't no movie, you know? Guess what I got lined up for tonight? Two. Two live ones, man. And let me tell you, they are dynamite. You know what they're into? No. What? I can't go into detail right now, but take my word for it. They are dynamite. Well, I, I thought we could spend kind of a quiet night together, just talk or something. Are you kidding? This is perfect. Now, my wife thinks that I'm working the weekend shift, okay? I got all the calls made, okay? I'm all covered. And I don't feel like sitting in some dumb movie holding your hand, no offense. Well, wait a minute. I, I didn't mean that. Look, meet me at the Palace Disco tonight at 8 o'clock, all right? That's it. Well, well, well what if I, I can't be there? there? I'll see you at 8, okay? Okay, Bobby. I'll see you at 8. See you there. Thanks anyway. I'm sorry I couldn't have been of more help. Bye-bye. Yes, sir, can be of help to you. Uh, well, could you show me, uh, that shirt? The one they were looking at? Oh, sure. The red one. Oh, the matador. The matador? Mm -hmm. The shirt, the styling, that's what it's called. Oh, yes. I forgot, the matador. I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yes. Nice styling. What did that lady think? She liked it, didn't she? To tell you the truth, she thought it was tacky. Oh. What do you think? If you could tell me if this is for a business occasion or a casual affair, I could be of much more help. Well, I, I was looking for something you could wear to a, a disco. Okay, let's get to the right department, shall we? Just come this way. I just got these in. This is what they're all wearing. Uh, unless you're into the more wild look, which is really passe. That's a beautiful plaid, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you the truth. For the disco scene, I think this is what you want. Well, why don't you take that shirt? What size are you, 15 and a half? Yeah. There you are. Can I set you up in an entire ensemble? Okay. This three-piece suit would be terrific with that uh, shirt. Now, why don't you just take these into the uh, dressing room and try them on, see if they fit. No, that's all right. Well, I'll just have these wrapped up if they're satisfactory, of course. What do you think? I think it's a dynamite outfit. Really? You'll steal the show.
life! You scarred her for life! Get away from me, please! Oh, leave me alone! Oh, please! You had a bad night. Come on, cut it out, Suzanne. Oh, listen, could you take us to Rudy's? What's that? It's a bar, dummy. Don't be a wise ass, Suzanne. <laughs> Sorry. It's on 19. Sure. Get in. Oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my appearance, but uh, I just got jumped. Really? Wh what? He was jumped. Oh, you were? What happened? A couple of guys came out of no place. They jumped me in a parking lot. Three of them. Really? Yeah, three guys with knives. Oh, wow. Just now? Yeah. Well, where was this? Back in town. Well, what, they do take your money? They wanted to. But I showed them. They didn't know who they were messing with. They thought they had themselves a real pushover. Well, what'd you do? I beat the hell out of all three of them. <laughs> I, I was in the Marines. Green Beret. <laughs> well, I thought the Green Beret was the Army. <laughs> well, this was just like the Green Beret. It was a special division. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Patty, you think Je Jeff is going to be there? Listen, if oh. Jeff is gonna be there, I don't wanna go. Are you gonna start with that again? Who's Jeff? Oh, he's this uh. real ass. Janice and Billy and all the rest of them are gonna be there. We'll just sit with them. Ignore him. I can't just ignore him. He follows me around. He's such a dra drag. Well, you picked a hell of a time to start this. We're almost there now, and all of a sudden, you decide you don't wanna go. Well, I just realized I don't wanna be half sold all night long. Wait a minute. What are hold, we gonna hold do? It. I don't know. Hold it. Take it easy. Why don't we go to go to my house? You can call uh, anybody you want to see, and we can have a party right there. Yeah? Nobody will mind? No. no. <laughs> we can invite anybody we want? Yeah. It's my house. <laughs> well, do you have any b beer? Because we're going to need some beer. Well, well, we could stop and get beer. Great. Far out. I okay, <laughs> should do it. <laughs> I know. It's an old house. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Holy place. smoke! This is really oh fabulous! Oh, my God! Oh, Patty, check this out! What a beautiful room! What is this? I'll Look put 
the beer in the kitchen. Look at this stuff. Look at this thing right here. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, oh, I live in a place incredible. like this. Hey. Mmm. Suzanne, this is really weird. You like that? <gasps> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This kind of stuff is fabulous. I love it. Well, come with me. I'll show you something that's really nice. Oh, boy, do you need a paint job. <laughs> What's the trouble? Listen, Father Garrity, my name is Bobby Tuttle. I'm a friend of Donnie Kohler's. He's in a lot of trouble, Father. He's gone crazy. Well, come in. No, 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 there isn't time. He's really flipped out, and this guy's after him and wants to kill him. Because Donnie attacked his, his sister and her face. His father, he's gone crazy, and I don't know what to do. I didn't know whether to go to the police or what. So would you come with me over to his house? You know how to talk to him. Will you please come and help me? Will you please? He needs help, please. All right, all right, just a minute. I'll come with you. Okay, hurry, please, please. Suzanne? You there? Suzanne, will you cut it out? Suzanne! Suzanne! Going to be having some company, and I want you to be nice to them. I don't want to see any of that girlish jealousy. Now you all know there are certain things I will not stand for. And one of them is lying. I tried being nice, but every one of you took advantage. Now. You're going to have to pay the price.
Are you all right? Donnie? Miss Kohler? Father Garrity? Donnie Kohler. I did what you said, and it didn't work. You lied to me! Oh, my God. It's all right. It's all right. Sorry. thanks I get. I bring you into my home. I give you love and shelter. Better than any of you ever had! And you turn on me. But I still let you stay. Well. No more. We hate you, Donnie! What? We hate you! To be free, we will be free. We will be free. Get 
is all that remained of the Kohler house, which burned down last night. Firefighters uncovered five boy, bodies, one of which was identified as Donald Kohler. Authorities have labeled the fire suspicious. Michael, did you hear what I said? I said to get upstairs and clean your room! Michael! Michael, turn off the TV! Don't you ever ignore me! Don't Ow. you disobey me! How Ow. dare you! Ow. Yeah.